so bright. <laughs> Would it be weird if I wore sunglasses? Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing part two in my series of my favorite people to follow and today I want to take you through my favorite fashion people to follow on Instagram. Now Instagram is a hotbed for people with all sorts of style and it is a source of constant inspiration to the point where my bank account is like get off Instagram okay you've you've got enough clothes you've got enough inspiration let's leave it out I did a video ages ago it's really bad quality but I did a video ages ago um, where I talk about how I like have folders all my collections in uh, Instagram and um, one of them is like just totally about outfits and like saving outfits because do you ever have those days where you wake up and you're like what the hell am I gonna wear today I have nothing I have no clothes I like to have that folder there so I can like scroll through and be like oh I have all those things I can put that outfit together so that's a top tip but my other top tips are following these people you might be following them you might not I don't know but let's get right into it with one of my faves one of the OGs who I've been following I want to say for five or six years I'd say at least that I remember I was following her not to be one of those people that was like, I was following her before she was like really popular, but I genuinely, I have been following Sincerely Jewels for actually probably six or seven years. I bought one of her selfie t-shirts, which is still going strong. Actually, do I have it? Hold on a sec. I bought this I, I, six years ago. So I was definitely following her then. Um, it's so comfy and it's actually lasted really well. But yeah, that's Sincerely Jules from like back in the day. Um, so I've been following her forever, forever. Um, and she's just grown so much and is so popular now. It's like, it's really cool to see. She has like the most enviable feed clothing wise of any anyone I know. Like, look at this. Like, just... I need a I need a lack of color hat and like it's the close-ups and all the details and all the gold jewelry which I'm all about I also need one of these by Chari uh, you know the necklaces with the letters I am obsessed with them I think they're so so nice Um, she just has a really nice sense of style it's very like laid-back and cute but like she also can wear you know really expensive designer stuff really well I just like her I like her style I just think she has a really good way of wearing clothes and making everything seem as you can see I've liked absolutely everything everything she wears is very her and um, even if I wouldn't have initially picked it I'd been like oh that'd be something she wears when it's on her it just looks so good she's ugh. I kind of hate her but I love her like yeah she just has great style and she really puts things together really really well and um, so I'm in constant envy of her like this dress I like I nearly bought this dress after see influenced Um, but she just has a gorgeous sense of style and I really like how she'll like pare it down and literally be wearing like jeans and a t-shirt and converse but she'll have like some insane necklace on or earrings or something so she shows she's a really good person for showing you how to like elevate your stuff to not just be like every day but to be a bit more interesting so yeah Jules is one of my faves I just if I could just have her wardrobe for like a week it is so bright I'm actually like I don't know if you can see but the light on my phone keeps hitting my face and blinding me so that's good. I keep looking down at me like, ugh. Next up, one of my Irish girls, who I am low-key obsessed with. I found Tarmar, I think, first on YouTube. She's really big on YouTube, you should check her out. But then followed her on Instagram, and I just, this is one person who could be in like several different categories, because she does some really good travel vlogs when she's away so she could have been in last uh, the last um video in this series talking about travel people to follow on instagram she's also somebody who could be in a couple of others that i'm thinking of she just has a great eye and her style is 10 out of 10 like look at this look at this 
like just so simple so chic so nice she is a dream she dresses so so well um and like some things that i just wouldn't think of putting together she puts together and then i'm like why isn't that in my wardrobe and um, she just has a really really good eye um and I, one thing I like about her is that she tries to be, um, she tries to not over shop, which is something I fall victim to all the time. She'll literally be like, no, I don't need that. I have the same one or, you know, like trying not to buy like the same thing over and over and over again and to match new things with things that she already has in her wardrobe, which I think is something that I need to get better at. And um, it's certainly something I'm looking to do for like this next trip I'm going on. I'm like looking at what I already have and then identifying the gaps rather than just going out and buying like a million new things, which is just really unsustainable. And um, yeah, just, just, just not ideal and um, so I really love that about her but like she also is amazing at makeup and um, so like I mean how like oh, just her skin is amazing but yeah I just really love her style I really love her aesthetic I just think she's a really like nice person Um, just from obviously YouTube <laughs> I just know from that and um, but yeah I just love her aesthetic I definitely think she's one to watch Um, okay so the next person I just showed you Tara the next person I'm going to show you has 4.8 million followers so the likelihood is you probably follow her too but I do really like her for fashion and um, I think she is um she's gorgeous and her style is really cool um it's Negan I'm not going to pronounce her surname because I have been butchering names um but yeah she just has a really cool style and yes a lot of her stuff is designer which is unattainable for the likes of me but I do still really enjoy looking at it and knowing that like you know there are sometimes high street versions available or the like so you know it's not it's not all bad and um, but yeah she just has a really cool sense of style I actually kind of like her when she's dressed down more I feel like she dresses down really well and wears like really cool stuff let me try and find an example yeah like this is so cute it's like double denim she's got a ponytail a stripy t-shirt and um, what are these shoes I don't know um and her ponytail and it's just really cute it's just like comfortable looking and um, so I think she does casual very well she always looks super adorable in her photos and obviously she looks insane in swimwear I'm not even going to click into it because I will depress you all um because she, I get depressed on the regular looking at her in swimwear if a post pops up I'm like <laughs> why but um, yeah, she works out as well, so I suppose that's why. And she also has the most insane hair. Like, it's insane. I don't know how she keeps it up because when my hair though was that long, I was like exhausted the whole time because it's just like, it's, it's a lot of hair to be carrying around. Um, but yeah, she always looks gorgeous. She just has a really cute sense of style. I loved this outfit actually when she had like the straw hat and just the plain white um, swimsuit. I thought that was really cute. She posted that ages ago when Mosey, her dog, not obsessed at all, but when Mosey was younger. Um, so yeah, she's just a really good one to follow. Really great style. The next person is a fave of mine, both on Instagram and on YouTube. If you're not following her, get following her straight away. It is Emma Hill. Oh my god, I am obsessed with her style. I just think she is, she just dresses so well. So well. And like, like, it's not that she's wearing cheap stuff. She's not, like, she wears, she wears some designer. She makes this high end though. Like, she does buy stuff in H&M and Zara and Mango and all those. But it's just how she puts them together and how she finishes them off which has always been my problem I might have like a good outfit but then I won't have like the shoes to go with it or I won't have the bag or my jewelry isn't right and she just has a way of finishing off outfits like look so simple but perfect she's also got tones that I like you know she's wearing like a lot of muted tones black I love this shot so much 
I went she was on a holiday with that mango swimsuit, the slides, the black hat. So good. She does summer wear really well. Um, I know she's been struggling in the heat. If you watch her Instagram stories, it's so funny. She's just been like hating the UK heat wave, but she makes it look good. Seriously, she just has a really nice way of dressing that just looks really good. Um, and I'm hoping I will look as good as her now that I've cut my hair kind of her length. No, actually my hair is a good bit longer. Hers is like more here. But she looks great all the time. Like I love this outfit. It's so simple. The blazer, the boots, shorts, nice glasses, amazing bag, which I won't ever be able to afford, but still she just looks great. I really, really like her style. Um and I definitely think if you're somebody who likes elevated basics and a very classic style. Emma is your gal. She is just, she just has a great sense of style. I have nothing else to say. She's just, she's fab. Next up is Peppa Mac. Peppa Mac is a stylist um, and photographer and this is like classic dressing to, the, to absolute perfection. Ugh, oh my god, like look at this. Just simple trousers, basic tee, belt, cool glasses. See, it's people like this that make me want to cut my hair even shorter, but like such a simple outfit, but so perfect. Are you able for this? I'm so good. So simple, um, but so right. Just, it just works. Um, and I really like just like the basic shapes and and simple silhouettes that she does, but she also plays with a lot of volume. Like say for example, this here. Like she's obviously got on like tight jeans, but she's got like more of a men's style blazer over the top or a coat, kind of kind of a big shirt that just looks really really interesting. I just love how she plays with different dimensions, but all her basics are amazing. Like. Yeah, I'm just so into her style. It's amazing. Like, if I could just dress like this every single day, I would. Yeah, just love her style. I just think she just does it so well. And I think the hair makes it. I'm just calling it. The hair makes it. Okay, I'm going to start to looking at her feet now. But Peppa Mac, again, another person. If you like classic tailored silhouettes and you're looking for some inspo, Peppa. She's your gal. This girl, I think I stumbled upon her. I think this is one of the rare occasions where I find someone in Discover. V rare, I know. Okay, firstly, she is stunningly beautiful. Like, holy, look, look at her. Have you ever seen such a gorgeous human being? Like, oh, she's so gorgeous. But her style is really cool. I really like how she puts things together. She's not afraid to play with proportions, play with color. She's just got a really nice way of putting things together. Like this outfit is so cool. Like the pattern, I would never ever think of picking something like that up because it's pattern and there's frills and there's all this kind of stuff going on, but she looks amazing in it. Like, look at this. Like, I'm sorry, can we say magazine photo shoot? Like, the volume, the pattern, her hair is incredible. Like, oh, look. If I sat down like that, I would look like the Michelin Man. She just looks effortless. She's wearing lime green there. Obviously, I can't do that with my Irish complexion, but she looks amazing. I just really like her style. I just think she is fearless and wears like really interesting stuff, but she also wears like really cool things like blazer dresses and yeah, I just like her. I'm now falling down a black hole because all I want to do is look through her entire feet. Oh my god. Like, she's wearing a cowboy hat there. Who looks good in a cowboy hat? Not me, anyway, but she does. She, it, she's, I love her style. I just think she's so interesting. She wears things really well. Like, this is, this is editorial right here. Just saying. Sarah Bellum. Add her to your list. I have actually never looked at this girl's name before. I've always just known her as her Instagram handle because I just, I see her as the salty blonde. That That is what she is. I love her. Look at her here. She is a little 
princess. I really like her style. Also, she could be in another series of funny people to follow because her captions are hilarious. I identify with her love of pizza and beer so, so much. Like, honestly, it's like she's speaking to my soul. She just, she always looks great. Always. That's, like, the rule. Like, she, I mean... She's got this fab hair and she's tan and she's wearing all these amazing things and she's eating pizza and beer. Like, she's basically living the dream. I love her style. I think she is great at, like, just, uh, and I think for, like, me, she was someone that I looked at a lot because it's, like, she wears fab swimsuits. She wears amazing, like, tie tops or, like, shorts. She wears amazing dresses. And that's kind of the style you just want when you're on holidays. You want it to look really relaxed and easy, but also look really cute. And that is something that she does so freaking well. Where is this from? What's this? Madly Vin? Okay, I need that today. Like, this is the thing. She just has such a great sense of style, a great sense of humor. It all comes across so well. I'm just, I fangirl over her, like, constantly. Okay, next person on the list. Big fan of this girl. And also, top tip, she is one to watch. Mark my words, Lauren Nicole, you heard it here first. Well, you probably didn't because she has like 10,000 followers, but trust me on this one. Honestly, in the modeling circuit, she has become one to watch. I know she's recently been in, what's this magazine? So she was in Third Magazine recently. She's been doing stuff with Dorothy Perkins. I saw it, I was watching it on Insta stories. I was like, yes. The girl is a hottie, like, and I love her sense of style. Her use of color. If I could wear color like her, I would never wear black again. Okay, I just lied to camera. Of course I would wear black again, but like she just looks so good in these like gorgeous pinks and reds and like, look, she's wearing color, like her eyes. She is one to watch, I'm telling you right now. Gorgeous human being, but I love her style. I just think she dresses so nicely and also in summer, like to just embrace all the different colors and prints. I love that jumpsuit and then with the little leopard print pumps. Yes, into it. Um, yeah, just love her style. Oh, the grey with the yellow. Hi, yes. Um, yeah, just really like her style. I just think she looks cute all the time. Like, she always has a nice outfit on. She always wears a little bit of colour, even if she's wearing something grey. Or like here, like she's wearing white shoes, blue jeans, white t-shirt, love her hair and then like the pop of yellow at the back i love that i love that style i just think it's so cute so she is one to watch watch out for her i have been fascinated with this person for such a long time again big person to be following on the grab but a really interesting person and that is Eva Chen. So Eva Chen, if you didn't know, she used to be an editor at Lucky Magazine and now she's basically head of fashion at Instagram. So really, really interesting. I've seen she's done some really interesting talks over the last couple of years about just, you know, fashion on Instagram, the whole algorithm, all that kind of stuff that goes on. But as well as that, she's also on, um, she's also involved in the CFDA, which is really interesting. So when she kind of gets to talk to these, you know, young designers, she'll kind of bring you behind the scenes of that. She'll bring you behind the scenes of Instagram. And she's just really interesting. Like if you want to see something that's coming new to Instagram, Eva is your gal because she will be one of the first to know. Like she was, I think, the first person that posted when Instagram moved out of the square format. Remember how groundbreaking what that was? at the time and now it's just like so basic but she was the first person she was like oh my god we can post like long photos now and that was just so exciting but as well as that her style is so cool it's not going to be to everyone's taste she wears like fluffy shoes with like patterns and prints and all sorts of stuff but I love it because she is genuinely having fun with fashion genuinely um and she also takes really funny <laughs> really funny photos um at the uh the stairs in instagram so like she the last one here is lolling because two uh colleagues walked up the stairs behind me saw me taking this picture and backed away slowly <laughs> like she's so funny so she's wearing louis vuitton sneakers here like a jw anderson i think the dress is jw anderson and like you know she's got her hair up in a messy bun and she's just having fun with it you know and um, 
her Eva Chan pose to me is iconic. If you haven't seen it, you need to search the hashtag Eva Chan pose. So an Eva Chan pose normally consists of her feet up in the back of a taxi with a piece of fruit showing off a bag in her shoes. And I don't mean showing off as in like bragging, I mean like showing what shoes and bag she has for the day. So like this day it was Gucci with an acne bag. She sometimes uses an emoji as a piece of fruit because she doesn't always have one. And she had Tao with her that day. And if you don't know who Tao is, Tao is one of her extremely cheap cute children, Tao and Ren, not obsessed at all. Um, but yeah, like look at this pic here, <laughs> Instagram selfie mirror, in the stairwell, goes to the cafeteria, like she's got her fluffy shoes on, she's got her ripped jeans. I just, I really enjoy it. And this with um, Rachel Zoe is just everything. Like I need Rachel Zoe's suit. I do need it. It's really important that I get it. She's just, she's really cool. I have a lot of time for Eva Chen. I just think she is, she's fun and she's interesting and she plays around with fashion. Like she would have been at the Met Gala. Let's see if we can find some Met Gala content. Oh yeah, here she is. Like, look how cute. She's adorable. I love her. I think she takes risks. She's fun with it. And she's a really great person to follow if you have any interest in fashion for one. Uh, Instagram too. If you like Harry Potter, we found like a major fan here. She's just amazing. If you don't follow Gary, Gary Pepper Girl, you're one of, you know, there's 1.8 million of us. You are missing out. I just... I want to focus in particular on her wedding because it was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. So firstly, we I knew she was getting married. This is the first photo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, just casual. The pictures are stunning. She was, it was in Vogue. Uh, there was videos like, I'm actually unable for how stunning she looked. The wedding dress, look at them, oh my god. The wedding dress, the venue, the bridesmaids wedding dresses, amazing. Love the way the groom had a best woman as well. Like, oh, I could honestly go on about this all freaking day. Look at it, gorgeous, gorgeous. The venue, dying. Like, oh. oh. So, her main dress was Valentino. Um, and it was just so unusual but so gorgeous at the same time like I honestly she's so cute Oh, I can't even watch the whole thing because I'll cry. But I love her. I love her style. I love, like, look, how fab. Like, hair slicked back. Unbelievable outfit. Like a, like, a deep red lip. Just, oh. And then, oh, yeah, she had, like, a million wedding dresses, by the way, which is so extra, but I'm so into it. Um, and just, yeah, she's just gorgeous. She dresses so beautifully. She's really classic. But, like just so interesting. I love how she dresses. She always looks amazing. I basically am obsessed with her in case that didn't come across enough with me talking right now. But yeah, her style is next level. Look. Ugh. How is she wearing green sunglasses? I'm looking good. Look at this. The hair clip, the shorts, the green blazer. I'd have never thought to buy a green blazer. So into it, obsessed with her, follow her, Gary Pepper Girl. Her name's Nicole. Okay, well this video was a struggle bus of a time, I'll be perfectly honest. It has taken hours to do. I don't know why, I just kept getting interrupted and like things kept not working and then this died and then this was dying and then screenshots weren't saving and it was all just very stressful. But it's done now, yay. I hope you guys find that interesting because, and I spoke about it in the last post as well, or the last video as well, that like, it is really hard to find new people on Instagram. And none of those people are necessarily new. A lot of them are, are big Instagrammers. But 
you know, I find big Instagrammers all the time that I'm like, why do I not follow this person? And also there's some smaller people there that I just think their style is really, really cool. I think, I feel like there's something there for everyone. And yeah, I just feel like it's really hard to find people on Instagram nowadays. It's, it's a struggle, which PS, if you're looking for someone new to follow, shameless plug i thought i would share some of my favorites with you guys especially because fashion is something that is so intrinsic to all of us you know it's something that we use to show people how we feel that day or you know whatever it may be and i think it's fun to find new people to follow and get new inspiration and while you might not wear every single thing that that person wears you can still get inspiration from it and i think that's important thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and leave a comment letting me know some of your favorite fashion people to follow on instagram because clearly i'm always looking for more to follow and that's it for this video i will chat to you next time bye Okay, we're flicking. That's not something. It's actually not normal to have a fit in be this often. <coughs> I'm okay. <clears throat> I'm a bit distracted. Okay, let's load this next bad boy up. Okay, so I just got distracted there, sorry. So my screen recordings keep cancelling for some reason. Ooh, what cloud? <laughs> it's constantly very dark. It's not recording again. This video is taking so long and it's starting to frustrate me. I'm going to throw my phone out the window. Oh, oh, a trailer in a car. So loud. That's going to come off. Okay, anyway, did that save? It did save. Woo! Thought that hadn't saved. Yeah, very happy that's done.